It's timely, actually, that we're considering things like sustainability and resiliency as we prepare uh, for the generations that are coming after us. There's a teaching that's found within many indigenous cultures that talks about uh, the seven generations, the need to consider our impacts on each other, on our environment, and for those faces who have yet to come. So when you see the seven generations represented in a pictograph or within an illustration, you'll see that these seven figures are connected. You'll see that there's a thread that binds all of them. And this again reinforces and really pauses us to consider our relation, our interconnection, and our dependency on each other from those that have come before us and for those that will come after us. The teaching places us within a continuum whereby each one of us has parents, you know, and for many of us, we've been lucky to spend time with them, to learn from them and to teach them. We've also, therefore, had grandparents. Many of us are lucky that we've had time to spend with them, to learn from them and to teach them. And though many of us don't remember it, and perhaps neither do they, we have had time with our great grandparents. We've had time to learn from them, to teach them, and really uh, absorb some of their journeys within uh, their time on Mother Earth. If we're lucky, uh, we'll each have a child. We'll have time to learn from them and to teach them. If we're really lucky, we'll also be able to spend time with our grandchildren. We'll have time to learn from them, we'll have time to teach them. And if we're really lucky, we'll be able to spend time with our great-grandchildren. The point being, though, is that each one of us spends time in each one of those areas. We spend time as a great-grandparent, a grandparent, you know, a parent, a child, a grandchild, and a great-grandchild. And so the foundational principle of the seven generations, as I know it to be, is that our choices, our behaviors, and our mistakes reverberate that far throughout history. And so really we challenge ourselves, we challenge each other to make our decisions and our impacts within creation, within that timeline, to respect and care for those seven generations.